session what we have seen <coughs> what we have discussed we have discussed about the landscape of sap okay in this if anyone is having any further query so please let me know about the about this one landscape of sap then i'm just uh, giving a second here so if anyone is having any further query so please let me know okay fine then now next thing is that type of projects type of projects in sap first we need to understand what type of what kind of projects are there in sap then we will discuss about each and every project the first one is that implementation projects okay so the implement when i say the implementation projects it's a green field i will explain you again you don't worry greenfield implementation then the second one is that migration migration project okay so the migration projects are again if i drill down again if i drill down here version migration then second thing is that ehp migration ehp is a enhancement pack migration i will i will let you know about this one okay once i will talk when when i will talk about that one then the third one is that rollout projects then the next one is that support projects then <coughs> enhancement enhancement projects then okay now most of the projects will be okay you, you may see this kind of projects only either it's a implementation project migration project then again under migration we may see additional two things okay version migration enhancement pack migration then again okay we'll talk about one by one the first one implementation projects okay so the implementation project in the sense okay i will give the examples here there there are two possibilities are there implementation project let's say client is at this moment okay i will explain you the implement first we need to understand the <coughs> i will give the example number 1 then the client at this moment the client is using using yeah, microsoft dynamics okay microsoft Dy okay instead of that one i'll put it in the tally okay the client is using tally software to feed to feed the business transactions let us assume the client is using tally at this moment okay to record their day to day business transactions okay. as part of management decision management decision they they want to switch or they want to go for the sap implementation they are they want to 
adopt SAP software <coughs> functionalities for or to, rec uh, to record business transactions. Fine. So now at this moment, they are using the tally software. The tally is which is not supporting for their business operations. When I say the business operations, where they do not have the integration uh, capability in the tally software, so they have decided that they want to go for the SAP implementation. Now this one, what I'm saying here is that uh, now this one is a, it's a uh, implementation project, okay. <coughs> implementation in the sense it's a greenfield implementation i just have mentioned the terminology here is the what is mean by the greenfield implementation okay so the greenfield implementation this is okay i'll put it here is a so <coughs> when we are implementing when we are implementing this uh, this we can say are as a greenfield implementation greenfield implementation what is mean by the greenfield implementation the greenfield implementation is nothing but a remember the greenfield implementation is nothing but we need to start from the from the scratch from the scratch in the sense we need to start what is company what is company code everything we need to start the configuration we need to start from the beginning okay how we started okay we have discussed about what is a chart of accounts what is a company what is a group uh, of gl account structure how we need to define how many business areas is to be required this i am this way i would say it's a greenfield implementation from the scratch we need to we need to start the implementation okay we need to do the customization or configuration okay now this is the scenario number one example number one example number two they are already using sap okay <coughs> let us assume they are already using is a example number two okay the client the client is already using SAP 4.7 version. SAP 4.7 version. Okay. Then what they are thinking that now they want to move. They want to move. They want to move from ECC. ECC 4.7 to S4 HANA. S4 HANA. Okay, at this point of time, this we cannot treat it as a greenfield implementation because there are some some conf, some setup which will be already I mean which was already done in the system. We can use the some standard configuration like company company code. Okay, in case if anything needed, we can do the according to their business requirement. But some of the settings which we can use are some of the things which we can use from the existing system. Okay, this I would say is the implementation project. Greenfield is nothing but a, is a from the scratch we need to work. Okay, here in between already there are some predefined configuration settings already there in the system. Those we can use for for our for our uh, uh, customization purpose. Okay, now the implementation methodologies. implementation methodologies is an important one now there are different methodologies are there 
now one is a asap accelerated sap methodology the second one is that agile 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 then the third one is that waterfall so different different uh, <coughs> methodologies are there okay now waterfall i i mean till now even i didn't work under this one but i most of the cases i have worked as of methodology and agile methodology okay nowadays remember nowadays okay now most of the clients are going for the agile methodology implementation okay what is the difference between agile methodology and as of methodology we will talk okay first for any project for any okay i'll put it in the as of methodology we have to follow the below phases or below steps okay this is the important one for your interviews also okay so what are the phases are there in the project implementation phase okay one is the number one is the project preparation then business blueprint then <clears throat> then third one is that realization this is i'll put it instead of steps then realization phase the next one is that <coughs> final preparation final preparation then next one is that go sorry go live then what are these phases okay so in the implementation project we need to follow the five phases okay then now so what exactly in the project preparation it is going to happen in the business blueprint what will happen we will discuss in detail but now before going to discuss about each and every phase we need to understand the organization structure from the client perspective from the uh, implementation partner side okay this is the important one now let us assume client when i say the client let us assume tata motors or it's a tata steel would like to implement sap remember so the who is the client here client is the tata steel remember then now what they have done they have decided that they want to implement the sap then during this process what they will do okay they will prepare i think it's they will inquiry in the market okay who is going to provide the best services okay so then that is the as part of the vendor finalization okay now the implementation partner i will put it is a implementation partner now who is the implementation partner this is the tata steel is the client then implementation partner okay so the implementation partner who is going to implement who is going to do the implementation for the tata steel let us assume the implementation partner they have decided that they want to go for the they want to go for the wipro they have decided that so they have given contract to wipro Wipro. So Wipro is going to do the implementation. Now we have a clarity. Who is client? Who is the implementation partner here? Is it clear? Of uh, here, if anyone is having any further queries, so please let me know. Okay, fine. Now, 
so many people were uh, i mean participated in the bidding then finally wipro has won the contract or won the uh, uh, proposal of the tata steel then finally tata steel also they have decided that okay they want to go for the implementation with wipro now <clears throat> Before going to start the implementation, we need to understand the structure from the client side. See who will be participate in the implementation in the implementation project from the client side. OK. Who will be participate? OK, I'll instead of this one. Participants. OK, I'll put it simple thing is a client participants in the implementation client participants so when i say the client who is going to participate from the client side then project manager will be there client side under project manager project owners project uh, sorry process owners under process owners core team members will be there under core team members end users will be there end users now this is the team structure from the client side understand this one now project manager will be there under project manager process owners i will explain you again now we know <coughs> about the project manager only the one person who is the person is responsible to deliver the project he will take care of that one then process owners who are these people the process owners are the mid meter i mean uh, mid management people okay so they are aware of the completely the process okay now let us assume if we talk about i want to sell one product what my organization has been manufactured if i want to sell a product what i need to do i need to customer and i need to face a customer inquiries then I need to discuss with the customers with the terms and conditions about the payment conditions. Then as well as shipping in case if OK, who is the person to responsible until to uh, shipment to the port? OK, in case if there are any export sales, OK, all these things you need to discuss. The process owners are the responsible for the end to end process. They should aware the process end to end process. OK under the process owners core team members the core team members as a consultant we will be we will be closely working with core team members remember core team members are the persons they are also from business side okay they also know the process okay what is the process which is going on okay they also know the process end to end process in case if they will have any query, they will contact their process owners. If I would say process owners are the managers under the managers, core team members are the like it's a team lead kind of things will be there. OK, under them, the end users will be there. So when I say the end users, end users are the person OK, where they are going to feed the data into the system, feed the data in the sense then they receive some invoice documents then they will take then they will they will re record those transactions into the system or if they want to run some f11 payments okay they want to execute then they will do or they want to perform some month end activities they will do that one okay that is the the job of end users so now these are the people so will be involved Okay, from the client side, remember now. <clears throat> implementation partner side. The part. <clears throat> uh, 
put it implementation implementation side participants then here also see this is a team structure what you need to understand okay the project manager will be there under project under project manager then who will be there delivery manager will be there under delivery manager team leads will be there under team leads consultants will be there consultants will be there this is the team structure from the implementation partner side now so project manager will be there for us even in the support project also implementation project also this will be the team structure under project manager delivery manager will be there under delivery manager team leads will be there under team leads the consultants will be there okay now if you will get a job in future this is your position remember directly they will not give as they will not offer as a lead position okay until if you have sufficient experience then this will be your position remember now <clears throat> this is the team structure now you will be coordinating closely or you will be working closely with the core team members core team members are the responsible okay to describe their business process okay that we will discuss later but now this is the team structure okay now let's let's move on to the project preparation stage what is going to happen project preparation then <clears throat> in this phase the consultant the consultant role will be role will okay the consultant role okay will not be there so what is going to happen in this project preparation stage okay now we are discussing about the okay as of methodology here so the under as of methodology okay so this is the as of methodology as of methodology remember now the first phase is a project preparation in this project preparation what will happen now so in this phase exactly the consultant role will be zero if i would say then who will be involved okay so the project managers business heads ceos okay so the all the business heads will be involved okay they will discuss okay what is the project scope and what will be the timelines okay i will mention the points project scope of the project scope of scope of project when i say the when i say the scope of project what are the modules need to be implemented okay in the initial phase then what is the timelines timelines of the project then server server maintenance okay who is the person is the server i mean whether they need to have a server set of its uh, premises or it's a cloud okay server maintenance and as well as the uh, then cost of the cost of the project so then they will discuss all this see if we will involve as a consultant we don't uh, i mean we don't know about i mean we do not want to know all these things okay either it's a project is a scope and all but anyhow 
our team lead or our project manager he will communicate further all this about this information but now cost of the project server maintenance okay timelines of the project anyhow as a consultant we, sh we should know okay but all this information i mean staffing staffing in the sense who is the who will be participate as a core team member from the client side who will be participate from the consulting side okay all the things they will describe one document they will describe in the project preparation phase the finally they will prepare a one in detail document in this phase this phase they will there is a okay the client the client and implementation partner will write a will write a agreement we will call it as a call it as a sow what is meant by so okay scope scope of work sow so w what i would say so the sow is a scope of work okay in this document they will describe or they will write in detail explanation okay what are the modules we need to implement okay what is the uh, i mean uh, how many servers i mean what is the server capacity what is the staffing everything will be included timelines and all okay consultant role will be zero in this phase Okay, so that is the reason as a consultant, we do not want to involve even in the interviews also the uh, from where you have involved, they will ask you the question definitely in the interview from which phase onwards you have involved in the implementation project. Okay, you need to say them I have involved from the business blueprint phase onwards. Okay, for sake of confusion, they may ask you why you did not involved in the project preparation phase okay then you need to explain to you need to tell them the project preparation phase my project manager my delivery managers were involved okay you need to tell that one then the second thing is that the second one is a business blueprint what is mean by the business blueprint what it is going to happen exactly in the business blueprint now the consultant role will start from business blueprint phase onwards okay so here in this business blueprint the consultant remember the consultant role will start from this phase okay this phase then what we need to do as soon as once the <coughs> once the project our project manager will communicate okay from so and so date onwards we need to start the project then the initial the blueprint phase when the blueprint phase will start the number one is a kickoff meeting will be there project i will say is the project kickoff meeting so in this meeting what will happen in this meeting <coughs> need okay in this meeting uh, the introduction introduction will be there between client client when i say the core team members are client participants who is going to client participant and implementation participants okay so the introduction will be there who is the fi consultant who is the co consultant who will be the uh, fi core team member who will be the co core team member okay the introduction will be there then once that once this will be done project kickoff meeting is nothing but a introduction of each and every team member 
okay from the client side and the implementation partner side then the next one is that plan to visit sorry plan to visit will be there plan to visit will be there so the plant is that in case if the organization is a manufacturing organization we must have to visit to the plant how the process is going on we need to understand this will be more and more important for co consultants and mm consultant sd consultants and pp consultants okay for them it is a more important as compared with the fi consultant okay so there will be a plant visiting will be there even as even we need to also visit then once that will be done then next one is that okay then in order to understand the understand the client i'll mention here is the tata steel client current the current okay i'll mention sap terminology as is as is as is is nothing but a as is business as is business process is nothing but a current business process current business process is nothing but a, at this moment they do not have sap they are using tally software in the tally software how they are feeding their business transactions how the payments are happening how they are recording the sales transactions okay everything okay that is what i would say is as is business process this is the sap terminology remember as is business process is a current business process in order to understand the client as is business process consultant need to need to gather need to know okay the consultant need to uh, need to know need to know it okay then what we need to do we need to we need to schedule a schedule a workshops we need to schedule a workshops is workshops are nothing but a, we need to discuss okay we need to schedule a workshops and we need to circulate or we need to we need to provide <coughs> we need to provide to core team members we need to provide core team members to describe we need to provide a document okay we need to provide a document <coughs> ppd some document names it is there i forgot one moment we need to provide the document what is that uh ppd uh okay the document name i will mention here okay we need to schedule a workshops and we need to provide a document okay to core team members to describe to describe the their current business to describe the current business process okay so then what we need to do okay we need to give a one template format okay so in that template okay they are core team members because they are aware of that one okay what is the current business process we don't know as a consultant we don't know about the process okay but that is their responsibility i will mention okay the document i will let you know then they need to write their business process in detail in the document okay then they need to submit to the okay okay now i got it the document is a urs document it. Anything. 
implementation work the document for team members document is a urs document use urs stands for user requirement user requirement specification user requirement specification urs document okay what is the user's requirement they need to write okay we need to circulate the urs documents to the core team members then in that document they need to write their business process in detail then based on urs documents we need to okay i will put it consultant consultant need to prepare a need to prepare need to prepare the blueprint document need to prepare the blueprint document because see i know the business process okay the core team member has given their current business process okay this is my i have a 10 company codes okay under this company codes we have a three currencies or four currencies okay we are following this is the process okay about that one he has completely explained the process in the urs documents then based on the urs document as a consultant we need to prepare the blueprint document okay the, then this process is an ongoing process and remember the urs document how the how it will be there urs documents then for gl general ledger for general ledger we have a separate urs then in case if it is a required for that accounts payable then separate urs for accounts are receivable separate urs for fixed asset accounting okay the each and every process will have the separate urs document now then what will happen once the remember once the urs document will be prepared will be prepared by core team members core team members okay they need to get an approval from approval from process owners i have explained right who is the process owners so here i have explained if you see here the here are the process owners because core team members if there if something anything uh, process is a deviating then the process owners will correct that one then they will give the sign off okay then that sign off document need to hand over to the consultant then consultant or it's a project manager then project manager will send will send will share that one to the consultant then consultant will start working on that one okay this is the process is the ongoing process then the signed off document the once the process owner once the process owner will provide sign off sign off sign off the urs document it will be and over to consultant for blueprint preparation so here what will happen now i have the urs document about the general ledger accounting i have uh, some queries i need to clarify that queries okay so to understand more about the process then i will schedule a workshops with them so in the workshops so who will be there core team members will be there because sometimes the core team member also does not aware the process in such situation the business people will be involved okay, we need to discuss or we need to get more more and more inputs from the business people okay in the kickoff meeting most of the people's business side will be there okay apart from core team member so we need to get the approval from them and also at the same time same time if they will have any queries the business people okay we need to responsible we need to clarify those queries okay then this is the process is the ongoing until end of the project then the next one is that then <clears throat> gaps 
gap analysis. Okay. First of all, we need to understand what is mean by what is mean by the term is a gaps. Okay. So the gap when I say the gap. Where the standard. SAP does not support for client requirements. Then we need to go. OK. This we will call it as a. Call it as a gap analysis gap. OK gap so. What is mean by gap? Let's say. Now. <coughs> the reports so there is there are many reports which are available in the system. OK. OK, instead of that one, what I will say, OK, there is a one uh, interface system which is there. Now I will give a small example. Now the uh, we have a supermarket. You remember, okay, well and good. That is the reason I'm just taking this example. You know the supermarket. As a customer, being as a customer, we have purchased some products. Then after purchasing, what what we need to do? I mean, at the billing counter, the person will do the scanning all the products which we have purchased. Then they will generate an invoice copy. Okay, once that once the billing will be generated, once the payment will be happen, the payment information from the scanning system to need to update into the SAP system. In this process, the SAP will does SAP will support for the scanning and all? Absolutely not. It will not support. And also for the scanning, I am using is a separate software. Then that information need to transfer to SAP system. Okay, the scanning is a separate software. SAP is a separate software to to sync both. Okay, both softwares information. What I need to do? I need to go for the. I need to or I need to enhance the functionality. That I would say gap. Okay, there is a gap between standard SAP system function standard SAP functionality at this moment. Okay, that I would say is a gap. In order to fulfill the gap, there are three ways are there. One is the okay to fulfill the gap. To fulfill the gaps in SAP, we have we have the we have three ways. We have three ways. Number one is a either you can go by the Validations, substitutions, substitutions, validations, substitutions, then enhance the functionalities. Then <coughs> enhancement. Enhancement. Okay, so these are the three ways. Either we can fulfill the validation, substitutions, or enhancements. Okay, so validations or substitutions definitely we will discuss about validations and substitutions. I will show you with example with live example. Okay, how these two will be will be worked. Then what is the enhancement? Okay, this also I will explain you. But now. See <coughs> here based on the URS document. <coughs> once the consultant will be received, he will prepare the blueprint document. Remember based on URS document, then we need to prepare a blueprint document. Then during the discussion or during the uh, URS documents, the preparation itself customer will mention that these are the pain points what we are having at this moment in my current system. Okay. Then, okay, the customer may or the core team member will describe many things, okay, about their pain points. This need to be resolved. This need to be sorted out, okay, like that. As a consultant, what we need to do, okay, now let us say the 
pain points what they are having okay their their requirement is that customer aging report for forecast analysis customer i will say is a customer vendor aging report is not available aging report to be required to be required then let us assume form 16 i will mention form 16 to be printed printed from sap then check payments to be printed from sap okay check okay check payments to be printed okay there are different requirements these are the pain points at this moment their current software which is not supporting in order to fulfill this requirement as a consultant what we need to do we need to study the client okay requirements or pain points vendor customer aging reports the standard reports which are already available in the sap system you need to show them whether the the standard sap delivered things will be supporting for your client requirement or not you need to get uh, you need to get clarity from them in case if it will be not supported or not sufficient for client requirement then we need to go for the enhancement then this and all i just mentioned here okay now in case let us assume i'll give the example in case in case the standard sap customer vendor aging reports does not support for client requirements client requirements what we need to say the standard sap delivered one will not support for the client requirement then what we need to do what we need to do then <coughs> then we need to We need to okay we need to get get inputs from our okay i'll put it the core team member need to describe need to describe the requirement in o O R D object okay object requirement to development documents okay O R D I will mention sorry object requirement object to object to development okay O D O okay O D R object to development requirement i put it to odr object development requirement odr i'll mention is a odr okay object development requirement document okay this document need to prepare by the core team member okay they need to write it okay then based on the odr document based on odr document consultant need to prepare need to prepare frs okay okay fs many people will say functional functional specification okay fs many people will say functional specification okay this we need to prepare as a consultant we need to prepare the functional specification document okay so the functional specification document how we need to prepare okay as a consultant tomorrow in the tomorrow session what i will do i i'm just stopping here